What we want is really to find cancers as early as we possibly can. So we have our digital mammogram, which clearly is the current gold standard for finding breast cancer. Can it find all breast cancers? Absolutely not. We still know that it misses a lot of breast cancers. The 3D mammogram is a better mammogram and will likely be the next gold standard for mammography. So how does it work? Most of us in this room, most of the women in this room have had a mammogram. So if you think about that compression that none of us like, and the breast is compressed, for example, from top to bottom. When you do that, something that's on the top of the breast is sitting on something that's on the bottom of the breast. If there is a little cancer in the middle, it could easily be hidden by something that's on the top or the bottom or right next to it. So what does the 3D mammogram do? It allows us to look page by page, almost as if you took an apple and sliced it or turned a book. And you didn't just look at the front cover and the back cover and the whole thing, but you went page by page in one millimeter thin slices throughout the breast. So any little cancer that was hiding there, you would have a much better chance of that popping out and seeing it. Unfortunately, I would love to tell you that that's enough, that all you have to do is have a 3D mammogram instead of a 2D mammogram. Finished? <laughs> but no. I can show you cases where no, that a perfectly done 3D mammogram has not shown a cancer, because at the end of the day, it's still a mammogram. So then we have ultrasound. If you have dense breasts, as defined very carefully by the Barron College of Radiology, as having more than 50% glandular tissue, you're going to get a letter. From, with your mammogram. It's going to be in that same mammogram letter that you get every year that's now going to say your breasts are dense, therefore you might want to talk about supplemental screening. So far we're left with having a mammogram and an ultrasound if your breasts are dense. So then you asked about MRI. So that's our third thing. And we kind of save that for the people that are at really high risk, our highest risk patients who maybe have a 25% chance of having breast cancer in their lives. And it's not going to find every cancer. You can't just, people always ask, well, I can I have the MRI and skip the mammogram? Unfortunately, mammograms will still find some small cancers that the MRI doesn't. So unfortunately, there's no one test, but the general, the combination of mammo and ultrasound is what most people with dense breasts and what most younger people will end up having in 2013, but and with the um, holding back of MRI for a select group of patients.